passing year of the college uh, schooling is required to judge whether the candidate has a career gap or the education gap. So this is as per the uh, point of view of the recruiter. But in case, uh, if I talk about as a point of uh, view of the student or the candidate, in case if they have a, a career gap or the education gap and they want to hide it, so they can remove those details of the passing year. So that at least their resume gets shortlisted for the interview uh, level. And later on, of course, any recruiter will, uh, can judge uh, or identify whether he has a career gap or the education gap. But that's the later part, right? For a few of the companies, maybe it is not very much important. For a few of the companies, it is very much concerned. Yeah, yeah. So once uh, someone is got shortlisted in resume and he has the career gap, but now in the interview part, he's performing well. So company may take a chance on him. Yeah, because for few of the companies, they have very strict policy that uh, they should know education gap or the career gap. But most of the companies, they uh, can take a chance on that. Uh, it doesn't matter to them if there is a career gap or the education gap. If the uh, candidate is better in the technical skills, they may hire him. 